and welcome to Prayer Cave TV, The Child and Break Show. My name is Eric Kimondo, and we especially welcome to our studio, Regina Kenori of the RWK and Associate CP. CPAK? Yes, CPAK. Wow, it's an audit firm. <laughs> yes, it's an audit firm. Karibu Zara to Black FTV Studios today, exactly. where we are going to be talking about the tax system again. Okay? Mm -hmm. Everything that you need to know is, and if you are not a tax expert, Okay. This is the episode for you. Karibu sana, Regina. Asante sana. Say hi to our viewers and also give us a brief introduction about yourself. All right. Mm. So my name is Regina Kenuri mm. and I'm so happy to mm. come here. Thank mm. you for the invitation. Mm. Um, I'm a tax expert. Mm. I work at RWK Associates, is a registered audit firm. Mm. And our specialities on tax. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So I'm so happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Karibu sana. Asante. And thank you so much for coming. Mm -hmm. Because I know of the great expectation that Kenyans have. Start by giving us what, a brief overview of the tax system in Kenya. Mm -hmm. What are some of the main types of taxes that individuals and businesses mm -hmm. need to be aware of? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So tax, uh, taxes in Kenya is not something that is complicated. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we know that when we are doing business and with a lot of uh, uh, information that is out there, mm -hmm. I think the tax uh, topic is something that even our grandmothers mm -hmm. have started to understand something about it. So we make it so huge so that uh, sometimes to when someone is starting a business mm -hmm. or they want to grow their businesses, mm -hmm. they have even fear mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. uh, taxes in mm -hmm. Kenya. Mm -hmm. But it's not complicated. Mm -hmm. uh, when you want to start a business, mm -hmm. there are business taxes that you should uh, consider. So any business in Kenya is liable to pay corporation tax, mm -hmm. that is at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have employees, you should pay pay as you earn. Now we have a new deduction, housing levy, mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, effective since July. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have other levies like NHIF, NSSF, mm -hmm. we have NITA. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of these are for the benefit of the employees. Mm -hmm. So they, it is simple to understand mm -hmm. as long as you have employees within your organization, mm -hmm. then you should have that obligation. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you're selling anything that is vertable, mm -hmm. service or uh, product, mm -hmm. then you should have the VAT obligation. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then there are others like rental, if you're having a residential mm -hmm. or, um, apartment, you should pay rental income tax. Mm -hmm. uh, there are others with holding, if you're uh, having professional services mm -hmm. within the organization, they mm -hmm. come, you do a uh, withholding uh, tax. Uh, and taxes just you come along you you learn as you move mm -hmm. so the first thing is when you're starting a business it's good to understand and this information about the taxes that you should have mm -hmm. is out here mm -hmm. uh, there are experts within uh, the, the within around Kenya even mm -hmm. who can be able to explain this mm -hmm. and also education mm -hmm. uh, even nowadays Kiari has taken a lot of sensitization of their taxes mm -hmm. so it's something that you can even be able to learn online mm -hmm. you can go through a webinar and just mm -hmm. learn something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but what i see mostly is that mm -hmm. sometimes when you're starting business mm -hmm. you're looking to grow your business mm -hmm. to to sell you're mm -hmm. looking for customers mm -hmm. you're looking for funding if you need a loan you're looking for your suppliers so at the end of the day for me i would say Concentrate first on growing the business. Okay. As you move up, you can consider about taxes. And within a short time, you're able to understand taxes and incorporate them mm -hmm. in your organization. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Mm. Amazing. Thank you so much. You've indeed um, mentioned quite a number of taxes, and mm. I'm going to be putting you on a spot on that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> and later. Okay. But um, taxes sometimes are confusing mm. and intimidating. Mm. Uh, what do you think are some of the key concepts that everybody should be aware of? We okay. hear of ITAX, we hear of mm. a PIN. What mm. are these things? All right. Mm -hmm. 
So when you're starting a business, when you register a business, there are many uh, formulas that you can use. Mm -hmm. You can register the business as a limited company and there are advantages mm -hmm. for each. Mm -hmm. You can do it as a sole proprietor, you can do it as a partnership, you mm -hmm. can register a business name, which is mm -hmm. uh, the most uh, common thing. Mm -hmm. So when you register a business, you should have your PIN certificate. Mm -hmm. And the PIN certificate has the tax obligation that you should mm -hmm. uh, be able to be paying. Mm -hmm. But if you register a business name mm -hmm. is connected to your personal PIN, mm -hmm. so you should go and do your taxes on your personal PIN. Mm -hmm. But what I can say about taxes, the biggest way for any person who is starting off their business mm -hmm. or in somewhere mm -hmm. uh, doing business and they don't know something about taxes mm -hmm. or this is a time because they are hearing about so many about taxes and mm -hmm. they're like am i being tax compliant the mm -hmm. first thing is bookkeeping mm -hmm. and that's why we lose mm -hmm. so what what books are you having within mm -hmm. the organization mm -hmm. uh, for anything the, the the cases that we hear tax demands and mm -hmm. you People scare you that when when the tax person will come, who's mm -hmm. going to close out your business, mm -hmm. it's upon the documentation that mm -hmm. you're having. Mm -hmm. So as early as when you start the business, mm -hmm. incorporate some bookkeeping wow. within the organization. Mm -hmm. So whether they are manual records mm -hmm. that you're able to record or it's a software that you can do, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But you can even start with manual records where you're able to articulate your sales. Mm -hmm. So you can say, these are my sales, these are uh, my purchases, these are my expenses. Mm -hmm. And when you document that, you also have source documentation. Mm -hmm. So this is the receipt, this is the invoice, uh, this is the petty cash. So most of us, we operate our business in our pockets. Mm -hmm. Uh, you understand the business your own way. Uh -huh. Actually, the business <laughs> and you is the same person. So at the end of the day, when uh -huh. even when... <laughs> taxes, you come to uh -huh. pay taxes, uh -huh. you cannot even be able to explain if uh -huh. you're even making profit or losses. Mm -hmm. uh, some, something like corporation tax, you mm -hmm. should pay 30% mm -hmm. uh, of your net profit. Mm -hmm. Do you even know the net profit in the first place? Mm -hmm. So these are documentation <laughs> that we should provide. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, when documentation are available, mm -hmm. then taxes becomes very easy. Wow. Yes. Wow. Mm. <laughs> and we are getting into the misconception part about taxes. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Kenyans, um, sometimes there is a lot of assumptions yeah. uh, in the population. Yeah. And sometimes somebody may think, ah, taxes, mimi akuna kitu nafakulipa. What are the most common misconceptions about taxes in individuals and uh, in businesses? Okay. Mm -hmm. So first of all, when you're employed, mm -hmm. as long as you're above 24,000, mm -hmm. you should be able to pay your pay as you earn. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when you're employed, mm -hmm. the obligation is not on you to remit pay as you earn, mm -hmm. it's on your employer. Mm -hmm. So sometimes for you, it will just come up to filing. Mm -hmm. You know the one that yeah, you do yeah. the filing, mm -hmm. and that one you can learn to do it, mm -hmm. or you can go to KRA ITAC Center mm -hmm. and you get helped. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing a business, whether it's a small-scale business, mm -hmm. then you should be able to declare your business income. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, we're even having something that is called an overtax, mm -hmm. uh, which I foresee that this government is mm -hmm. going to really implement it mm -hmm. because now it has moved from 1% to 3%. Mm -hmm. So after all the cost cases mm -hmm. and everything, they're really going to implement the turnover tax. Mm -hmm. So get your business ready, have mm -hmm. your documentation with you mm -hmm. so that you're able to pay your taxes. Mm -hmm. So the us that we, we are operating, mostly uh, when it came to something like VAT, VAT mm -hmm. starts uh, being implemented mm -hmm. at 5 million turnover, mm -hmm. 5 five million mm -hmm. turnover per year. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, so so when you're operating a small business, you're like, ah, I'm not yet there. Yeah, yeah. But remember, there's mm -hmm. also business income, the corporation tax mm -hmm. that you should be able to mm -hmm. declare. Mm -hmm. And when we are doing business, we do them for growth. Mm -hmm. you, wanna, you want to grow that small scale business. Mm -hmm. If it is a community market, you want to make it a big supermarket. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, Sometimes when you're just operating, the carrier or the tax person might not even be able to know that you're operating. Mm -hmm. But that business, given time and given the energy that you're giving it, is going to grow. So it is going to grow within two, three, four, five years. Five years is a big supermarket. Mm -hmm. So that time when you're visible, 
you're going to get that tax demand mm -hmm. and tax compliant. And remember, when they come to you, they will not come for that very year. They will come for five years. Every company should be audited within five years. Mm -hmm. So even the time that you have mini market and you did not even consider bookkeeping mm -hmm. and doing your taxes right, mm -hmm. that is the time now you're going to pay. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing right now? Every business we desire to grow. Mm -hmm. What are you doing right now? Because next year you never know. It's mm -hmm. going to be, you go, the business is going to boom. Mm -hmm. So have your uh, structures mm -hmm. in check. Have mm -hmm. your bookkeeping, your accounting software. Mm -hmm. Understand tax. Be compliant at a very low level because mm -hmm. in future when you now a big organization, uh, you'll be audited. Mm -hmm. And that time, you, that's why you, you hear people are telling you, I'm having a tax demand over 10 million, mm -hmm. 20 million, and you can't even understand where did it come from? Mm -hmm. Because at that time, even at that first year, they were doing losses, actually. Mm -hmm. The company was doing losses, but they cannot document the loss. So documenting the process and documenting mm -hmm. even when you're mm -hmm. very small mm -hmm. is very mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, you, you're going uh, this down on bookkeeping, yeah. having some records with you. Mm -hmm. I think we are... We yeah, are guilty of we run our own businesses as a system. Most of the companies <laughs> that are out here, when we say of documentation, they will tell you, I just have a bank statement. <laughs> I just having a bank statement. And the bank statement is because yeah. it's kept by the bank. The bank. Yes. Hey, Nothing <laughs> else. So we need to get our businesses from our pockets and our minds to, to bookkeeping. Yes. Good practices. Mm. You're saying it may not be of benefit now, yes. but five years to yes. come. Yes, it when that business is visible, when mm -hmm. you're having tracks, mm -hmm. when on your social media, when mm -hmm. you're winning awards, mm -hmm. now you're visible. Mm -hmm. And people ask me, why is Carrie always on my business? Mm -hmm. Because you're visible. <laughs> you have turnovers, uh -huh. you have, you, they can see you. Uh -huh. So the moment they, they start doing seeing wow. that business <laughs> now you're attractive mm -hmm. and when they come to your organization mm -hmm. they are looking for targets mm -hmm. they have targets mm -hmm. so they know when they come to your organization mm -hmm. they are going to charge you 20 million 10 million so they might not come to people around mm -hmm. our communities mm -hmm. who are doing small business mm -hmm. because when they come possibly you're not you're sub, you'll be liable to pay 50,000 100,000 mm -hmm. and but when they come to a big institution you're going to pay 10 million. So that is the institution they are looking for. Mm -hmm. So at the low level, you did not even mind mm -hmm. what kind of business that you're doing. Mm -hmm. But you're really energetic. Mm -hmm. You're growing that business. Mm -hmm. So at that time, the business is huge. They come in. Wow. So they ask you, give us <laughs> records since oh, wow. five years back <laughs> the line. And you don't have anything. And we spend a lot. We spend on fuel. Yeah. We yes. Mm -hmm. We spend a lot. We spend on labor. You're constructing. Mm -hmm. You're doing a lot to mm -hmm. grow the business. Mm -hmm. But are you documenting? Mm -hmm. So you having cashews. Have you documented that you're paying cashews? Mm -hmm. You go and fill fuel. Mm -hmm. You don't even get that receipt. Yes, you have your impesa. Mm -hmm. I paid mm -hmm. payment. Proof of payment mm -hmm. is not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not considered you uh -huh. have to have that receipt mm -hmm. so there is a proof of payment yes mm -hmm. I paid mm -hmm. but also let's have mm -hmm. the document do mm -hmm. you have that document mm -hmm. so what I can say for businesses that are growing mm -hmm. for businesses that you foreseeing that you grow and we that's what we are looking mm -hmm. for every day we work hard because we want to grow mm -hmm. start here mm -hmm. understand the taxes that you should pay mm -hmm. at your low level and pay them mm -hmm. then keep your books properly if you don't have that capacity outsource the capacity mm -hmm. outsource or get to a level that you can even do it yourself mm -hmm. and be very serious about it mm -hmm. that will save you a wow. lot yes yeah just again on bookkeeping just to make this clear mm -hmm. uh, you've talked about when it comes to taxation there's inputs and mm -hmm. there are outputs and yeah they they seem to be all important mm -hmm. Uh, in the computation of the final tax. Yes. Maybe somebody does not understand how documenting how much they used for fuel, mm. how much they paid for labor affects their taxes. Yeah. Could you kindly explain? Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me explain first something that is huge, that mm -hmm. is corporation tax. Mm -hmm. That one is on your net profit. Mm -hmm. So you need to document how much you're selling mm -hmm. yourself. 
you need to document your purchases. You need to document your expenses. So your sales, you're having your invoices with you. Mm -hmm. The receipts that you're selling. That is, even when they, they do surveillance, mm -hmm. and I foresee that after the, 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 the court cases, there will be a lot of surveillance mm -hmm. of uh, KRE officials coming to our organizations. Mm -hmm. So are you, they will ask you for that receipt, the receipt that you're writing to your customers. If you have the ETR, they will ask you, they can they even come and buy something and you don't give them, them that ETR and they give you a notice uh, to go mm -hmm. to carry for, for offense. Mm -hmm. It's an offense notice. Uh, so we need to document that, to have that sales receipt, that sales invoice. Then if you're having your accounting software, have your sales ledger. Mm -hmm. So this is where you input. If you're using your QuickBooks or anything, any other accounting software, that is where you're documenting your sales or a point of sale. Then when it comes to your purchases, when you're buying your items, have that receipt with you. And most of us, even the them that are doing VAT, after you file your VAT, you don't even care where the receipts went. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you have to even have a space and a room in the organization mm -hmm. for filing where you keep it. Remember, these documents are required for five years. Mm -hmm. Where you keep the invoices very well and put them somewhere safely. Because there's something that will come up in future mm -hmm. and you'll be required. Actually, when you're going through an audit, they'll even sample your invoices. If you've done the invoices via ITAX, mm -hmm. which is your VAT, mm -hmm. they'll come back and tell you, give us these receipts. Mm -hmm. So you need to give them the physical mm -hmm. receipt. They also ask you, give us a proof of payment. Mm -hmm. So you need also, if you there was a check, mm -hmm. some of us give checks and we don't even... Uh, photocopy you need even to photocopy that check and keep it somewhere so this is the invoice i pay the, the supplier this is a photocopy mm -hmm. of the uh the in the mm -hmm. the, uh, the check so there is a lot of documentation mm -hmm. when it comes to your expenses what expenses are you having so you're having fuel you're having rent we pay rent via mpesa mm -hmm. you pay electricity you mm -hmm. pay water via mpesa you need to get that document with you. Mm -hmm. Get a statement from Kenya Power to just show I've paid a hundred thousand the whole mm -hmm. year and document it. You have cashews. You generate a cash wages sheet mm -hmm. that every time they come they sign. Mm -hmm. You have petty cash. You send something by a border border. They don't give you anything, but they sign. Come sign. If I need to pay you, you have to sign here. So that document at the end of the year, if your business was a loss. It's not a fictitious loss. Mm -hmm. It's not COVID that you could have COVID disaster and be a shadow you a loss. Document the loss. So most of us, even our businesses, are not doing well. We're having loss. Mm -hmm. You cannot document the interest that you paid to the bank. So document everything. Mm -hmm. And if that business was a loss, sure. So at the end of the day, we find that even that. Can you imagine if somebody came to you and told you, give us your records for five years? You can't even tell what happened that year. But when your mind is fresh like today, mm -hmm. you can even cl have a closure of a month mm -hmm. that I'm going to do my profit and loss for this month and close. If there are issues, if there are no documents that are not kept well, keep them. Because any... And I always say this because I train a lot when it comes to taxes. Mm -hmm. Anything that is going to hold you mm -hmm. uh, against that tax demand mm -hmm. is documentation. Nothing else. Documentation. Mm -hmm. So is your bank statement sales, the money in that you're keeping your bank statement, the same as your invoices. Mm -hmm. So we, when you come to, to us and you give him, you have a letter for, um, for audit, mm -hmm. tax review, mm -hmm. And they have written their bank statement. Some of us, bank statement, there's personally somebody who paid you a plot or mm -hmm. something. Uh -huh. Everything is just <laughs> is in there. Is in there. Mm -hmm. There's something you even uh, got paid dowry <laughs> in, 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 the, in the bank statement. So at the end of the day, <laughs> and this happened five years ago. <laughs> you can't even. So when you come to the taxes and I review and uh -huh. I tell you, according to what you filed, you filed that your sales was five million. Mm -hmm. But your bank statement is giving me 20 million, a whole 15 million difference. And you can't even explain. You start telling me, oh, the business was not doing good. 
How will you explain mm -hmm. the business was not doing good and your bank statement can show all that income? So at the end of the day, what mm -hmm. is the in the bank statement? Mm -hmm. What is your document, mm -hmm. your uh, physical mm -hmm. documents in mm -hmm. the office? Mm -hmm. What is your accounting mm -hmm. software? And right now we are doing our business on our accounting software. Mm -hmm. This accounting software, we don't audit them. Mm -hmm. So we are having people in the office, mm -hmm. you write a receipt, mm -hmm. and then you find that you made a mistake, mistake you write another one. You, someone tells you, oh no, I, was not, I didn't want to buy that. You write another one. So at the end of the day, if I tell you give me sales for that day, mm -hmm. that sales, the sales for that day is overstated by 500,000. But just because nobody is monitoring, mm -hmm. The day ends, the month ends, the year ends. So when KRA will come and ask you for a sales ledger for five years, mm -hmm. you give them a sales ledger that is having 10 million, yet you sold 8 million or mm -hmm. 7 million. Mm -hmm. The rest were deletion, mm -hmm. mistakes. But because you're not keen on that mm -hmm. document, mm -hmm. then you're liable to pay a lot of taxes. Wow. So there's a lot of, for you to do business right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of effort you need mm -hmm. to do mm -hmm. when it comes to how you're running, how you're doing your books, how you're doing the accounting software, mm -hmm. how you're doing your bankings, mm -hmm. everything. You have now to come back. You know the way we do sales meeting, mm -hmm. we do um, we do those meetings, managerial meetings, mm -hmm. production meetings. Now you need to have tax meetings mm -hmm. within the company and, and bring everybody on board and tell them, are we tax compliant? Wow. Mm. Wow. wow. Wow, <laughs> it's quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, especially I'm looking this from the angle of sometimes we take these things casually yeah. until the tree hits us on the head. Mm. So it's until we run into trouble mm. that's when we start taking these things seriously. But from your word, I think it's time it's yeah. for anybody that has a business mm. to have a tax meeting. Yes. <laughs> very important. <laughs> and very ask if are we tax compliant? Yes. Yes. Are and there, do a tax uh -huh. health check. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. What is that? A tax health check is mm -hmm. where you you don't have a case, you don't have anything, mm -hmm. but you just go back. Mm -hmm. Go back five years because mm -hmm. if today they come, it's five years. Mm -hmm. Go back five years and mm -hmm. just look at your documentation. Mm -hmm. Look at how you've been paying your taxes. Mm -hmm. Are mm -hmm. there mistakes that you can be able to correct mm -hmm. and have a plan going forward? Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. And you can invite a tax expert mm -hmm. like us mm -hmm. to help you do that. Wow. Mm. Amazing. Let's go to any new recent developments about taxes, yeah. the tax system in Kenya. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there are so many things that are happening right now. Mm -hmm. Tax is revolving. Mm -hmm. Every year before budget, there is a finance bill, there are mm -hmm. new taxes, mm -hmm. there are new regulations. And they keep coming. They are proposed first July, first uh, January. So there are, mm -hmm. like now this year, something started that we call it capital gain tax. So it was moved from 5% to 15%, which Ooh. is triple, very high, <laughs> actually. It's on, it's on going, mm -hmm. uh, started in January. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's proposed. Mm -hmm. Like now, right now, we are having the housing levy. Mm -hmm. So uh, we told that since July, Sarali, mm -hmm. we, should, we <laughs> should remit the housing levy. We have something like teams, mm -hmm. which uh, came uh, a year ago, mm -hmm. and it has changed the, how we are doing business, a lot of dynamics. So what is what teams is doing is is replace the old ETR that we used to have. Mm -hmm. So that ETR was just a manual mm -hmm. machine, and that machine um, uh, you could manipulate. There were so many issues with it. But right now when we have Teams, Teams is sending your sales to carry um, on real-time basis. So when you sell before the end of the day, that information is sent to them. And that one is raising the compliance rate for VAT uh, to significant mm -hmm. volumes. Mm -hmm. So most of the businesses used to be, when it came to VAT, they mm -hmm. were 50% compliance, 40% compliance, but it's meant to push the compliance levels to be very high, mm -hmm. to reduce the fraud, mm -hmm. um, and just make sure that people are able to pay their taxes mm -hmm. well. So there are some organizations that are really affected by that, mm -hmm. and 
you have to just incorporate it in your organization and learn mm -hmm. how to use the machine and learn how to uh, to do it and you move. So there are others, the finance bill is still in court, mm -hmm. but there are others that the VAT for fuel uh, is going to raise. There are other items that are there and they will keep rolling. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they will keep moving. So mm -hmm. just um, understand what is affecting you mm -hmm. and just adjust. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, when it is a law, you wow. you keep adjusting when it comes to your business. Uh, yes, the music is playing and we need to dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Let's talk about consequences now for a while for individuals and for business when you are non-compliant. Okay, mm -hmm. they are huge, mm -hmm. and I guess we have had stories of people have closed business mm -hmm. because of taxes, mm -hmm. and uh, mm. that is. What happens? So you're not non, you're non-compliant, and your business keep growing. So for individuals, possibly if you didn't file the return, it's just penalties. Uh, for individuals who are employed, it's just penalties, and the penalties is two thousand. But for companies, then they supposed to do it well. So there are them that are going to understate. Uh, there are them that are going to file new return. You have a business income, but you just file a new return because it's June. And you say, <laughs> I've done this for a while and nobody is checking. So <laughs> let me continue. So at the end of the period, when you're spotted, and, and when you come for my training, I train mm -hmm. about tax triggers, mm -hmm. tax audit triggers. So what triggers an audit? A company should be audited within five years. Mm -hmm. But what can trigger uh, that audit faster. So it's very important to just learn some those some of the mistakes that we do that can be very uh, um, costly. So when you now go through a tax process, you're going to go through a tax audit where you, you'll be required to provide your documentation to uh, tax officers mm -hmm. and you go through that process. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, they give you a demand mm -hmm. And that demand is a tax demand, mm -hmm. and they also incorporate it in your iTax portal. Mm -hmm. So that is the time that you hear I'm having a demand of 10 million, 5 million, 20 million. Sometimes you hear billions. We've had cases of a billion, 2 billion, mm -hmm. depending on your business and depending on the issues that you're having. Mm -hmm. So, and it can hurt your cash flows. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine if you're given a payment plan that you're supposed to be paying them a million a month? And this, and you can imagine the hard economic time that you are having going through. You having loans mm -hmm. and stuff to pay, mm -hmm. and on top of it, mm -hmm. you having a demand to pay taxes. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you may find that a business at the end of the day mm -hmm. goes down, or you required to sell something. People will sell land; they will sell their portion of just to be able to pay their taxes and stay afloat. So there are other consequences mm -hmm. that will come. And by the way, if you don't pay, if you, they give you that plan and you don't pay, they issue agency notices to your bank account. So they can close their bank account. So uh, they receive that money. So they uh, uh, write letters to the bank and your account. They get money from your account and even to your suppliers and to your customers. They can write letters to your customers telling them, Instead of paying you, pay us these taxes. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is very important to be mm -hmm. compliant. You never know what mm -hmm. the future holds. It can be ugly. Yes, and it can. As you said, it yeah. can really hurt your business mm -hmm. and your cash flow. Mm -hmm. It's good to be... Especially it comes when you didn't expect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you don't, you didn't expect, and uh, you go mm -hmm. through a process, and mm -hmm. you're told to pay mm -hmm. amounts of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes you feel someone tells you I have a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. and it comes when you, when you're just having a lot of issues. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's talk about some tax exemptions okay. for individuals, for companies, mm -hmm. the ones that we should know about. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we talk about tax savings strategies, mm -hmm. which are there. Uh, possibly next time when you come here, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll talk about them. Okay. But there are some exemptions. Mm -hmm. If you're disabled, mm -hmm. there is, uh, you shouldn't pay taxes to a tune of 150000 mm -hmm. on your pay as you earn. Mm -hmm. So there are, there are regulations that you should follow mm -hmm. for you to have that. 
there are companies that are exempted mm -hmm. if you're having NGO. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you demonstrate mm -hmm. the kind of uh, the organization that you're doing, mm -hmm. the organization that are exempted mm -hmm. from taxes. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have companies that mm -hmm. are doing export. You refunded mm -hmm. VAT. Mm -hmm. So the VAT amount you're supposed to be refunded if you're exporting outside Kenya mm -hmm. to promote the export. So mm -hmm. this is enjoyed mostly for people who are doing flower exporting, mm -hmm. uh, avocado, the, the wow. hot culture, mm -hmm. um, the hot culture industry. Mm -hmm. So they are there. Mm -hmm. So according to the business that you're doing, mm -hmm. then there are some exemptions that mm -hmm. you should you mm -hmm. should provide. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you're doing an investment, a huge investment, and mm -hmm. some of these big institutions are able to even uh, uh, able to enjoy some of these incentives. Mm -hmm. So investment deduction, sometimes uh, when you're doing huge investment, uh, worth 100 million, 50 million industry buildings, mm -hmm. then you can apply for those capital deductions and you can enjoy them. So there are processes. Yeah. So when you, you mm -hmm. get a tax expert, mm -hmm. when you get into those levels mm -hmm. and you go through the process, mm -hmm. sometimes they may come to audit what mm -hmm. you're doing, the mm -hmm. investment that you're doing, mm -hmm. and then they grant you the, wow. the, the deductions mm -hmm. and the exemptions. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Because of time, let us um, quickly run through this one. Gig economy and the creatives. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so um, we saw the government demanding now tax even from foreign companies yeah. of Netflix and ETC mm. to people that are working for outside foreign companies. Um, how do you become tax compliant as early as possible okay. when you're in that space? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think over time, mm -hmm. the social media and the, the social, the global mm -hmm. business has mm -hmm. become very huge mm -hmm. and they have realized it's not brick and mortar anymore uh -huh. <laughs> there are people who are doing businesses at the comfort of uh -huh. their home mm -hmm. and earning a lot of money mm -hmm. and they have embraced mm -hmm. those businesses mm -hmm. so prior even Kerry will come to your doorsteps mm -hmm. you don't see them anymore yeah. because now the business is you offer you're here and you're selling to customer in China and mm -hmm. USA and in that business mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. and and because of that mm -hmm. they want to get taxes out of those businesses mm -hmm. so we even have in something like um, facebook mm -hmm. if you do facebook ads they are butterball is things that we did not wow. see prior mm -hmm. because they have realized people mm -hmm. are doing a lot of boosting <laughs> And, and a lot of business. So there is a digital tax. Uh -huh. And uh, for you, any business you're doing, mm -hmm. anything, content creation, mm -hmm. anything, there's withholding that has been introduced. Mm -hmm. So just understand your business. Mm -hmm. Get to somebody, a tax expert, who mm -hmm. can explain to you, mm -hmm. I've gotten to this, now I'm selling online. Mm -hmm. What are my taxes? Mm -hmm. I'll be doing and this and this, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. What are my taxes? And start be compliant mm -hmm. at that level. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Mm. Wow. Ni kwa muka na kwa muka mapema. We need to grow the country at the end of the day. And then we need yes. to pay for the roads and for everything yes, we are yes, using. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Let's go to resources that are available for tax education. Mm maybe from grassroots level all the way to professional. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there is education. Mm -hmm. uh, there are people who are doing courses, mm -hmm. CPA. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. we have Kestra. Mm -hmm. uh, Kare, if mm -hmm. you now want to go to the professional mm -hmm. site mm -hmm. to understand about taxes. Mm -hmm. But for people who just want to understand taxes mm -hmm. at their level and at mm -hmm. their businesses, mm -hmm. there is education everywhere mm -hmm. like us lwk and associates mm -hmm. yeah, when okay. you follow our page we mm -hmm. do a tax webinar every month wow yes on tv mm -hmm. tax is a hot topic mm -hmm. so you just uh, have those discussion on mm -hmm. the various taxes that Listening, you should like you just, this one yes like like, <laughs> like like what you're doing right now uh -huh. so just learn mm -hmm. if you go onto youtube mm -hmm. now youtube is everything mm -hmm. you can learn okay. google taxes in kenya you uh -huh. just learn mm -hmm. uh, and something mm -hmm. and content mm -hmm. of their newspapers mm -hmm. content blogs mm -hmm. Uh, if you go to Big Four, they even release content, mm -hmm. blogs, everything. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of tax information out there. Mm -hmm. KRA, mm -hmm. 
conducts trainings. Mm -hmm. Actually, they are doing trainings, so many trainings, mm -hmm. even physical trainings. Mm -hmm. uh, and every time there's something new, mm -hmm. they're always out there to mm -hmm. release it. Mm -hmm. So there's, even on their website, there are, mm -hmm. They are uh, content that you can learn mm -hmm. and you can also attend their webinar, attend mm -hmm. their trainings mm -hmm. and just learn. Mm -hmm. For what I can encourage anybody mm -hmm. who is want to do business and grow their business, mm -hmm. understand taxes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And ignorance is no defense. Yes, it's not. <laughs> By the way, let me tell you something. You know, you know when you're going through a tax um, uh, demand mm -hmm. and a tax review, uh -huh. First of all, you cannot say, I did not file. Uh -huh. That, you know, so this filing, they are done by that parties. Mm -hmm. Someone you have entrusted, mm -hmm. accountants in mm -hmm. the office or mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. You cannot say, I did not know what they filed. Even ignorance. Mm -hmm. And there is no difference. You are supposed to know. Mm -hmm. And these returns are self-assessment. You sat down, you did them. So you cannot come back and say, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. I don't know the person was incompetent. Those are, actually now they say, <laughs> now here there is an issue. We should be, look at it properly. <laughs> so you can't. Equifunzo. <laughs> so you cannot <laughs> cite that you did not know. Ow. You cannot say mm -hmm. that the person who was doing it is, was not competent. Mm -hmm. Those are things and that they, you they cannot cite. That. They will not. Tax avoidance versus tax evasion. Mm. Mm -hmm. So when we come to tax avoidance, mm -hmm. you know, um, there are so many things out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, even when you are chatting mm -hmm. around, mm -hmm. when we are taking tea, mm -hmm. we are like, what are you doing? What mm -hmm. are you doing? Mm -hmm. There are so many things people do out there. Mm -hmm. So many of them. Mm -hmm. Even buying on cash. Mm -hmm. Possibly, let me... There are so many things people mm -hmm. do out there to mm -hmm. just avoid taxes. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, for me, I would say they are time bound. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are seasons that you have to put everything on the table. Mm -hmm. So when that season comes, mm -hmm. even remember, and rem if, if it, we were doing this in one year, mm -hmm. after one year now we wash our hands and we say, phew, uh -huh. last, last year we did it. Uh -huh. and, but <laughs> right now it's five years. Mm -hmm. So whatever, you, whatever mess you created, five years down the road mm -hmm. is still on you mm -hmm. it's still on mm -hmm. you so what i can say just understand mm -hmm. tax mm -hmm. there are places where you can save on tax mm -hmm. there are things that you can do mm -hmm. you can plan tax planning is a mm -hmm. education that you can learn mm -hmm. and do so what are talk what to our next part mm -hmm. what are some of the things that you can incorporate to save tax mm -hmm. and save it the right way mm -hmm. so some of these things that you do behind the carpet one day mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you, you'll be liable to pay a lot of tax demands mm -hmm. because of that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Handshakes, mm -mm. five years down the line, yeah. it will come back to you. Yes. Finally, your advice to our viewers, mm -hmm. even as you also give us your phone number mm -hmm. for the tax consultancy services okay. that you provide, mm -hmm. and also your location and social media handles. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my final my final advice is if you're doing business in kenya mm -hmm. taxes is a must mm -hmm. and at whatever level at whatever level the business is understand taxes start doing your books properly like properly and incorporate it mm -hmm. among the many things that you're doing in your organization tax debate and tax uh, topic should be one of them that you're discussing. Mm -hmm. um, so that and tax when you're tax compliant, there's nothing that gives you um, peace of mind than knowing that this business is going concern. Next year we are here, mm -hmm. the other because we are mm -hmm. compliant is one of the things that gives you a lot of peace, mm -hmm. and uh, also encourage you to have uh, the right tax consultant in your organization is also very very important. So our company is called RWK and Associates. We are a registered audit firm. Our services are audit, tax, and advisory. Uh, we are uh, located in Hughes Building. That is Nairobi CBD. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the floor, and then we are on Thika Road, opposite Mango High School. 
and uh, my name is Regina Kengori. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do a lot of tax uh, mm -hmm. trainings. Mm -hmm. So, and our phone number mm -hmm. uh, 0722 283752. Again. Okay, 0722 283752. Yes. Wow, social media? Uh, social media, LWK and Associates, mm -hmm. Facebook. Mm -hmm. If you want to come and learn uh -huh. uh, the taxes, mm -hmm. uh, go to our Facebook page, mm -hmm. LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. We are there and mm -hmm. you can see us. My page, uh, Regina Kenori. Mm -hmm. And I also have a face, uh, Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Uh, Regina Kengori, CPK. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Finally, for young boys and girls that are watching you this morning and they are saying, wow, we don't to be Regina. Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give them a word. All right. Mm -hmm. um, having a business or uh, advancing your career mm -hmm. is something that you hope for. Even me, mm -hmm. I still hope to grow. Mm -hmm. So for anyone that is young there, for me, even people, I really encourage people who are even freelancing, mm -hmm. uh, they come to my webinar and I mm -hmm. really encourage them. Mm -hmm. Then the, the first step is to just start. Start. Mm -hmm. Start where you are. If it needs you to get a client, first taxes requires you to have experience. It's not just the education that you learn. Mm -hmm. If you want to do it as a business, it's also Mm -hmm. uh, the experience, having that client taking through the, the, the process. Mm -hmm. And learning is having the client and mm -hmm. moving forward. Wow. So you don't have to really know so many mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. As you interact with the client, as mm -hmm. you engage them, then you continue learning. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go to school, learn. Mm -hmm. Go to Kestra. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a KRA school. Mm -hmm and learn taxes. Mm -hmm. Go do CPS mm -hmm. and don't stop there. Do mm -hmm. your degree, do mm -hmm. your master's. Mm -hmm. So wow. that is how you move. Mm -hmm. And even as a young person, you can save. Mm -hmm. If that is your dream, mm -hmm. you, you save something here, you save, mm -hmm. you get a scholarship, you, mm -hmm. and sometimes, and you pray. Mm -hmm. Pray about it. This mm -hmm. is what I want. Mm -hmm. When you go to my page, mm -hmm. I, I really talk about uh, mm -hmm. achieving your dreams and goals. Mm -hmm. So even prayer, mm -hmm. that telling God, this is what I want for my yeah, life yeah. in the future. Mm -hmm. So, and taking that prayer, mm -hmm. being constant about that prayer. Mm -hmm. One day, wow. God just put everything <laughs> together <laughs> and it happens. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for coming. Mm. We thank we thank God because of you and for the grace that He has given upon you and for the knowledge mm. that you have poured upon us and to all our viewers mm. telling us to be serious about mm. bookkeeping and our taxes in the Meskia. Okay. Asante sana. Right. Asante. <laughs> thank you for the invitation. Asante. We thank God for the gift of life and for the ability to be here and for this session to Nashkuru Sana. Our special appreciation also goes to our Bishop, Dr. Thomas Modell and Reverend Phyllis Modell. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. To Nashukuru Sana 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 Asantin. And to you, our viewer, we love you. We appreciate you and we pray for you every day. Mm -hmm.